Hello everyone. Moving on with our uh, Spark series. In the last video, we took a look at how uh, to do some basic like shift operator time series operations in Spark. Uh, moving on along the same theme, we will in this video we will try to see how to apply uh, transformations and mapping in uh, Spark. In pandas, I guess you would be pretty much familiar with how to do things in pandas. You can define a function and then you can do, you can uh, take the resulting columns and then apply the function to those columns and it should give you. So in this case, so what I'm saying if uh, uh, the future is greater than if the future is greater than the current then return a one and if the future is less than the current return a zero so in this case uh, future is less so it should give a zero and so on so let's see what's the output yep so this one is less than this one so zero while uh, 96.47 is greater than 96.38 so it's a 1 let's see how we can do this in spark first what you should always try is if there are existing functions in the SQL library so that uh, you can apply those functions uh, if it is not there you can apply a UDF or a user defined functions so uh, a existing implementation is of course uh, uh, preferred uh, apply UDF only when you don't have an existing implementation so what we will do in this case we will use and uh, apply see how to apply a UDF and then we'll see how we can do the same thing using the existing function as well which is the preferred approach so in this one I will need to for implementing the UDF we need to RG Spark SQL functions UDF. The advantage of you uh, trying not to implement the UDF is of course if you, you know those are uh, easily applicable in uh, the JVM and the the non ut functions are optimized so it will really give you great amount of benefits so we can create let's see my logic in this case what is the thing is that Close, which is a float and a future mm -hmm. future first close which is a float Basically, a future greater than close This is my condition. It's one. Uh, else, zero. Okay, makes sense. So in this case, I can do something. Which is future and close future here plus future and close so future here the big column I'm get my new get is this get target I can do something like future I can buy the future column
close column and that should close to this right this should do it so here if you see here so target zero 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 one so in this case also zero 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 one three make sense now this was how you could apply a UDF in uh, uh, your Spark data frames. Now this is of course not the preferred way. If the other way is uh, achievable, which means that using the inbuilt functions. So is there an inbuilt function which I can apply? let's take a look so what we want is that we want to compare two columns and return a one if uh, one column is greater than the other or zero otherwise so i can do something like spark functions these are the SQL function so this should give me future tier with column so this is <coughs> future now when Greater than close. This is my condition. This is my output. Otherwise, this is so let me write it in a better way. So with future. Right. Make sense? So when this create future greater than close one otherwise zero. Let's say it gives my let's see. Okay. Let's do one thing. This is this is the first approach. And this is the second. Let's give a time this. Let's see. Okay, I can't do reference. Let's see what's the output. Okay, let's do my updates right now.
uh, okay so basically there is no difference between the columns of the two data frames which proves it in this case that's it from this video uh, thanks guys for joining and watching please like and subscribe uh, to my channel uh, and uh, i'll keep you posted